What is up, you guys? Welcome to Watch the Feed, a CDL podcast where I bring you all the CDL news that I can find uh, twice a week. So it's a new thing that we're going to do. I'm going to do it on all COD-like stuff, but right now, focus on CDL. We'll get to more later. But big things in the CDL. The first big thing we're going to talk about is Draza not going to Optic. It was confirmed that he is not going to Optic. He will be choosing Atlanta Phase over Optic, as you can see from a couple of these tweets here throughout. What this means is that Phase just got a lot better looking. Anyways, I don't know how these players are going to play together. Uh, you know, I mean, with Draza, that's the only other new player. But we do know that Atlanta Phase was not Draza was not supposed to go there. Atlanta Phase was Draza was not Atlanta Phase's first option. Sorry, their first option was Scrap, as you can see from this tweet here. They wanted Scrappy, things didn't work out, so they didn't. They weren't able to. They just didn't get him. Now we talk about where this leaves everyone else as far as everything goes. You see how Kenny reacts to it, you know, calling him the Star Wars meme and all that. But big thing is where does Optic go? So assuming that Optic is still getting pred, we now have expectations or expectations or speculations of the fact that maybe Sib will join pred, the AR from Seattle, um, since they were all released. So this could make more sense. And uh, stat-wise, Draza and Sib are not too far apart. So this wouldn't be a bad pickup for Optic. No, it's not Draza. But having that chemistry with Pred and Sib already, and of course these guys play eights all the time together, so people know how they play. But this will just help, you know, get everyone in a little bit better. So then we're going to switch over to Envoy, LA Thieves. So they're losing uh, LA Thieves, lost Envoy. Or they're in the hands of losing Envoy when they lost Draza, they lost Octane. So we're three guys down. The only guy who seemed, hasn't said anything about anything is Kenny Quavo. We're still up in the air with him. I don't know what he's doing, if he's getting picked up, if he's staying on LAT. I don't know. But we look at Envoy. Envoy has decided that he wants to play for Toronto Ultra. Meaning for them that this team is actually going to be pretty stacked. You got Scrappy, you got Envoy, and I believe Kleenex stays. Or Insight, one of the two. I think it was Kleenex. But anyways, regardless of which one of those two stayed, it is going to be an all-out brawl with Scrappy and Envoy just alone with just them two. Because Envoy played really great this year, like better than he did with uh, Huntsman. Um, and better, yeah, like I just was surprised to see the skill level. Of how well he got and stuff. So seeing that was awesome. Uh, I do think that he's going to probably be really good next year. Maybe an MVP candidate. Who knows. Um, but then, of course, that was another weak like, rumor that he might join Optic instead of Pred. But now he wants to play with Ultra. So we're left to look at more Optic issues. People are thinking about Optic being Pred, Shotzi, and... Uh, of course, Dashy with maybe Illy, but I don't know. Illy's a little, I don't know. There's apparently a, some sort of squad that is already forming with Illy, Awakening, Hook, and Standy. And that would just be an all-out under, like, underdog team, basically. A team that nobody would really plan on having go far, but then they absolutely just do really well. I mean, because, you know, Hook was not a bad player yes he was an online player because of sound eq probably but he was not a bad player he had a lot of ups and downs but i mean by far he wasn't terrible so i think he'll be good and i really do like standy i think he just has some you know things he needs to work on mechanic wise and then you got uh of course illy who didn't even get to play a lot of this season but has apparently been playing in a lot of eights and stuff still keeping active in the call of duty community which would be great to see him come back just because I did like him as well. And then Awakening. Uh, I've not heard much about this guy. But I'm assuming he's like sort of an underdog. And he would be good, good spot on the roster just to have. I think the IGL there with Illy would be awesome. But Illy's a little quiet. So it would just kind of. Someone's going to have to step up there. Now we're going to move on to the hair. We're going to move on to more of the. Another thing we want to talk about where we talk about like the uh, teams and stuff. So this one, we're talking about the Florida Mutineers. They're not going to be a team anymore. Uh, well, they are, but they're not. So it's been rumored at the beginning of the season that the Mutineers weren't going to be called the Mutineers. They were going to be called uh, a Spanish team called the Heretics or something like that. So I don't know if that means that they won't be the Florida Mutineers at all. Like Mutineers is completely gone and they're going to bring in the uh, heretic's name I, excuse me again if I'm saying this wrong 
but uh, I'm not sure. But as you can see in the bio, or they updated it to be the heretics are coming or something. Uh, it's coming to the league. Um, and then in their Amazon wish list, they updated, which I thought this was cool. It was a book from their the heretics pro team i think on overwatch so that's pretty cool i mean it i don't i don't know what this will be but it should be cool i i think it it'll lighten up the league a little bit i wish instead of taking over a team it was adding a team i just think more teams would just help the league out i do like watching the cdl and stuff so more teams equals more money more money equals more lifespan of the cdl and stuff like that so wish it was a new team but Taking over still could be good for you know all the players on the Heretics at the moment, yeah, and the Mutineers uh, case maybe they were going bad I don't know. Now we go into Rambo 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 Ray with Seattle. It looks like he's going to be coaching Seattle. Um, that's the new positive thing. But the thing is, I did read somewhere that Seattle may be leaving to go to a Canadian-based team. I think Quebec or Vancouver. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me there, but I do know. That Seattle is rumored to have Rambo Ray come coach for them, which will be great. I mean, for Rambo, um, and depending on who they get, if they get like Illy on on uh, Seattle with Rambo, they already have played together, so that would just, you know, it would just work out great for them. So it'll help out. And Rambo is a really smart coach. Like I've seen some of the things he say. I watch a uh, uh, watch a lot of his uh, his stuff. So I do think he knows what he's talking about, and I do think it'd be a great addition. But I just, you know, it just depends on who's his team. You can't take a team of nobodies and make him somebody over day. So as long as he's got pros on the roster, he should be fine. Um, then we move over. I wanted to go one more thing uh, with the Optic Ghosty situation. So Dano Ghosty is not coming to Optic. He confirmed that he will be playing with a new team. As you'll see here in this tweet, uh, one of the, I think Optic Murphy, a guy named Optic Murphy, commented in his chat saying, will you be playing with a new team next year? And at that response Dan said yes and so we can expect Dan to be in the league but not in the green wall uniform so what that mean again I don't know uh, I did think Ghosty was an awesome player I did think he was a great addition to Optic I really did enjoy him but you know let me know what you guys think of all this going on in the league and stuff uh, do you think FaZe is the new team to mess with do you think Envoy going to Ultra will really help them out or do you think no matter what, the the best team is going to be New York. Because New York has pretty much kept their whole team um, from last year, and they won champs. Do you think they can go for a 2 I don't know. I know the biggest thing right now with New York was the Priesta situation with getting his contract, but they said they are very confident in being able to get him, so maybe they just underballed him at once, and he was like, I just want a little more, and maybe they picked that back up. Um, but... I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think about all this, um, you know, CDL stuff going on. Uh, I'm excited for the league. I'm excited for the new game. I'm excited for the regular season to start back up. I've noticed a lot of Cold War 8s going on, so I might try to look at more of that, see what's going on there. I know Doug Sensor Martin got into it, and I think he dropped a 7 in control. So hopefully he, you know, I would love to see Doug back in the league, but will we? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember, smash the like button, subscribe for more. Comment down something below that you want to talk about in the league or Call of Duty in general, and we definitely can. But this is Watch the Feed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.